Hi, this is Jay Goodison from Encodium. So, continuing our series of uh, looking at the Encodium utility actions, this video is looking at how we can extract text uh, between values in a text or a string. So, my scenario is really simple. I've got a web form that's sending emails into a mailbox, and I want to get some of the data out of that email, and I want to add it into a SharePoint list. So, my SharePoint list is really straightforward. It's called Demo Inquiries. I've got a title and I've got this found by column as well. Um, and the email I'm going to send in, really simple. I've got submitted by, a bit of information about where it came from, yada, yada, yada. But the bit I'm going to try and extract is this bit here. I want to get word of mouth out of that email. I'm going to show you how you can do that really straightforward with the utility action. So uh, let's add the encoding action. Uh, so I can click standard. We'll just do a search for encoding. And Perfect, and I'm just going to click see more so I can see all of the actions. I know all the utility actions are right at the bottom because they begin with utility, and I'm going to select utility extract text between values. Now, <clears throat> text is the string from which I want to attach data from, so I'm going to pass in the body of the email message. I'm going to pass in a start value, so if we look at this, I want to take, I want to get from here. And I can remove the white space, and I'll explain why in a moment. And I can do query. By default, what will happen in the advanced options, you'll see that will trim the results. So if there's carriage returns, control characters, and any white space, that can get removed. If I want to keep it, of course, I can do trim result off, but I'll leave it on for now. Um, so what should happen is it should pick up this value found in here and return that to me. So let's... Uh, test this out and do new step create item there we go and I'm going to throw this into a particular list and I think it's called demo of inquiries and I just call this I could use some uh, some of the dynamic data from the trigger but if I just do um, example number one just to show what we're doing here and found by, I'm going to take the value, uh, the result value from the utility extract text between the values action. So I'll pop that in there, and that should, when I send this in, be this value here. Okay? So let's just test this. I'll test it manually for now. Save and test. And I'm going to fire this email in, fire a web form. Okay, so that's run through. We can see it's taken a uh, pretty quick time to, to get through. And if I look in create item, we should see there's that value found uh, word of mouth. And if I pop into my SharePoint list, I can see that new item has been added. So hopefully that gives a, an example demonstration of how you can use the Encodium extract uh, value between, oh, sorry, I can't even pronounce the, uh, the name of the action, extract text between values action, of course. Um, if you have any questions, you can email us at, us at support at or visit the support portal support.encoding.com.